Point Family Church, and uh, welcome to our first ever Arts Academy Christmas program. Believe it or not, it is 35 days until Christmas, so I hope you're ready for bringing on Christmas tonight. Are you ready? That sounds good. My name's Harv Lyon. I'm the lead pastor here at Cross Point Family Church. More importantly, my wife is Miss Edith. I'm sure that is a name that you are familiar with. And uh, she is the director of our Arts Academy after school here. And I would like to say on behalf of my wife and the staff and the church that it is our privilege to spend time with your children every day. You know, we live in a crazy world, and uh, we like to think that this is a safe place, a refuge for your kids. We really try to create that environment for them. It, this is also kind of an artsy environment, and purposefully so. We believe that kids who are involved in the arts just are a little bit more well-rounded and do better in life. So we do what we do very intentionally. So um, I think the kids are about ready to, to sing and perform. They are so excited, uh, and so... Uh, we're going to get started in just a minute, but I have just a few announcements. Uh, I know that we are on Facebook tonight, and so if you miss any of it, you can watch it on Facebook, or uh, Dan, our, our tech guy, tells me that you can go on our uh, website and watch it on YouTube if you miss any part tonight. If you don't have a home church, we warmly welcome you here at 1030 a.m. on Sunday mornings. We would love to have you couple exciting things that are happening here at Cross Point. We are getting ready for Christmas, and we have Christmas Lane coming up on December 10th and 11th. It is an outdoor event. It's a free event. It is a hayride that is a whole lot of fun, and we tell the Christmas story. We'd love to see you December 10th and 11th. We also have, I think was up here on the screen, we have a 5 p.m. service on Christmas Eve. So if you're not busy on Christmas Eve, we would love to have you for a candlelight service. And I think that's about all the announcements. Uh, I know the kids had some sugar cookies, and so do you guys. And uh, I think you're all sugared up and ready, right? So, Miss Edith, where are you? Are you ready? I can't start until my wife says that she's ready. So, your water's right there, dear. And are we set the way you want us to be here? Okay. All right. But Santa's doing 
Jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring Snowing and blowing a bushels of fun Now the jingle hop has begun Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock A Jingle bells chime and jingle bell time Dancing and prancing in jingle bell square In the frosty air What a bright time is the right Gliding in a one horse thing. Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet. A jingle around the clock. Mix and a mingle in the jingling feet. That's the jingle bell. Jingle bell chime in, jingle bell time. Snowing and blowing, a bushels of fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells chime in, jingle bell time. Dancing. Saturn Dancer. And you know the most famous reindeer of all. But do you recall the goofy reindeer? Bob? Who named the reindeer Bob? Ho, ho, ho! Why name Bob Bob? It's, it's Santa! Santa! Whoa there, this story isn't about Santa. But since this is a story. Well, yes, but the story's about Bob the Goofy Reindeer. So tell us the story already. Well, you see, Bob can never do anything right. He's skidded it. He skidded it. He throws it into Santa's toy shop. spilled hot cocoa all over Mrs. Claus's best dress. But could he fly? Of course he could fly. Like a rocket ship. Like a rocket ship? Bob could fly so fast that you could see stars shooting out of his hooves. Bob could fly so fast that he made a song for him during takeoff. Bob could fly so fast that he disappeared in space for three days at a time. Yes, Bob could fly fast. That's awesome. Well, you might think that. Until it was time for Bob to land. It took an entire year to repair Mrs. Claus's living room after the last time Bob flew. And let's not even mention what happened to Snow Mountain, or what's left of Snow Mountain. You see, trouble didn't follow Bob. Bob followed trouble. Everywhere Bob went, trouble was sure to go. But Bob wasn't a complete goof up. Ho, 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 no snowing. 
I'll never forget how Bob saved Christmas back in 47. Bob saved Christmas? He sure did. It was his best goof up ever. He, the, the, bi the, bli the biggest blizzard since Rudolph hit the North Pole. On Christmas Eve, Santa Santa was packing his sleigh and getting ready for golf. An enormous northern wind blew through and nearly blew down Santa's workshop. Oh, no. Oh, yes. The elves were chasing gifts that flew out of Santa's sled. The reindeer were so bad bogged down in snow they couldn't get off the ground. Mrs. Claus started to cry, Christmas is ruined, Christmas is ruined. But Santa had a plan. Ho, 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 I said. Bob, with your flight to charge so strong, do you think you can blast my sleigh into the atmosphere? Oh, no. Oh, yes. So Bob climbed down in the deep down snow. And Santa climbed into his sled. Then Santa said, On Dasher, on Dancer, on Panther and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to, to the top the of the sky, to the top of the star, now blast away, blast away, Bob. One, two, three, blast, blast off. off. Why, Bob performed his biggest blast off ever. Off and off and off he went. Santa and his sleigh in eight tiny leaps. Then he disappeared right off the head of his radar. All is lost, cried Mrs. Claus. But wait. What now? Can't we leave just past midnight? Time stops on Christmas Eve, you know? Head Elf detected a wonderful, beautiful, most delightful sight. What? Presents shooting down from the sky and into chimneys. A walking horse for Tommy. A dolly for Susie. Hey, this is the 21st century. Oh yeah, an iPad for Donovan. An iPhone, an iPhone for Courtney. And a diamond-backed Venom BMX bike for Sean. But what about Santa? And what, what about, about Bob? Bob? Well, that was the strangest thing. Santa landed in his comfy chair, complete with slippers and a pipe at the break of dawn. Mrs. Claus cried, it's a miracle. Then Santa's sleigh landed in the garage, no worse for the wear. The head elf cried, it's a miracle. But what about Bob? Ho, ho, ho. We never heard from Bob again. Oh, no. Oh, yes. But if you look up in the sky and see a shooting star, that's just Bob. Acting like a goofball. That's just Bob for you. Ho, 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 ho. So you see, Bob can be as happy as can be playing star hockey in the sky. And every now and again, you could see him wink. But most especially on Christmas Eve. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to all and to all a good night. Ho, ho, ho. Good, good night, Bob. Is that it right there? Is that 15? How about this one? Is this 15 here? Try one more time. Two, two, two. Okay, yeah, if you can bring this one up for Zani, that'd be great. Give me a little bit of more gain on her.
not happy. In fact, we're very angry. Check, check. Still working. We want to get paid, Santa. And we want a Christmas bonus. And free ice cream. Wait a minute. What if the children don't have any money? I mean, wait a minute. You're working for me, and I don't charge children for the presents they get. Where would I get the money to pay you? Okay, okay, enough. I'll see what I can do. Maybe we can start charging for presents. We'll make a profit. You can pay us a bonus. We can take the rest of the money. We'll take a trip to Jamaica. Hooray! Wait a minute. What if the children don't have any money? We could give them credit and charge high energy fees. We will become a Santa Superstore. Or a Santa eBay. Where you could pay a Santa Pal. How about a Santa Zon? We make lots of money! Well, I have to say it sounds good, and I've never been to Jamaica. Let's do it! Brother. 
was on my brother's chair. Somebody snitched on me. I tied the knot in Susie's hair. Somebody snitched on me. I did a dance on Mommy's plant. Somebody snitched on me. I filled that sugar bowl with ants. Somebody snitched on me. Oh, I'm getting nothing for Christmas. Mommy and Daddy are bad. I'm getting nothing for Christmas. Cause I ain't been nothing but bad. I spilled some milk on Mommy's bed. Somebody snitched on me. Everybody stops and stares at me. These two teeth are gone, if you can see. I just don't know who to blame for this catastrophe. One wish on Christmas Eve is as plain as can be. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. My two front teeth. See my two front teeth. If I could only have my two front teeth, then I could wish you Merry Christmas. If you go along, then I could say, Sit the duty, sit in on it, the doll. God 
showed me how happy I'd be if I could only whistle. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. My two front teeth. Be my two front teeth. Gee, if I could only have my two front teeth, then I could wish you Merry Christmas. Seems so long since I could say. Sit the sitting on a sit Gosh, show oh, gee, how happy I'd be if I could only whistle. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. My two front teeth. See my two front teeth. Gee, if I could only have my two front teeth, then I could wish you Merry Christmas. One thing that you need to know is because this is an after school program, this is the first time they're all together. So we never get to practice with all of the children. So this is pretty amazing, don't you think? Residing on the bench are New Year's, Valentine's, Easter, 
Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Chief Justice Christmas. Thank you, Tax Day. You may be seated. Now, as you all well know, the yearly calendar has become loaded down with too many holidays. We are gathered to hear the pleas of the minor holidays to determine which will be allowed to stay. April Fools will be taking the minute. April Fools? April Fools. Yes. First on the list are the Daylight Savings Twins. Now, now, fallback is very popular. We keep him. I say we take spring forward and send it to a turn. Death! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Oh. Did you turn on the we can't do that. We want the record to show that we formally declare you stupid! Yeah! Boo! 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 Next is Fri Black Friday. Black Friday, hello? Are you there? Hello? Come on. Hurry up. Come on. Uh, <laughs> no! I filed a restraining order. You saw me, right? You have to stay at least one day away from me. She's right, Black Friday. You have to stay in our designated place on the calendar. The yeah. turkey says so. Chinese New Year's so inconsistent. Oh, there he is. You! You've got to go. There can't be two starts of the New Year. It's confusing. I'm more popular. Doggone it. <laughs> All right, you may stay. Come on, Valentine. Back me up here. I think they should both go. What? Oh, oh boy. boy. No one meets my expectations. Here we go again. Go again. <laughs> Next on the list is Pi Day. Approved. 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 Why do you like Pi? Yeah, it's a cake sandwich. Really okay. St. Patrick's Day. People need a special day to pretend they're Irish. Cinco de Mayo. People also need a special day to pretend they're Mexican. <laughs> Election day. People need a special day to pretend they voted. <laughs> what about Groundhog Day? If we lose him, do we also lose the Bill Murray movie too? It's not worth the risk. Mother's Day? <gasps> uh, shame on you. Father's Day? Yeah, yeah we, we can, can get rid of that. that. Oh. What about Labor Day? No way. It's a day off of work. Shouldn't we call it No Labor Day? There's more to a holiday than just getting the day off. You would say that Halloween. Look who's talking, Valentine. How dare you! Oh, order! Order! <laughs> Let us review the minutes and then we can make an informed decision. April Fools! <coughs> April Fools, <laughs> come on! Check, check.
Santa. I have Rudolph. I have enclosed a drawing of him locked up in my garage as proof to bring me these toys or you will never see Rudolph again. Don't try anything funny. Number one, Dance Dance Revolution. Number two, all the dolls in the world. Number three, a new bike, a red one. Number four, anything else I want ever. Love, Addison. Hi, Santa. I have been very good this year, except for September 13th. That was my birthday, and it wasn't v a very good day. Can we please forget about it? Anyway, on to the good stuff. Here is my Christmas list. I hope you can bring all of them. Number one, a box of live birds. Number two, leopard high tops. Number three, a box of fake flowers. Number four, a portal to Narnia. I love you very much, thank you. In advance, Cassidy. Dear Santa, I wanted to tell you I am fine. I don't know, but if you can, could you probably make it so I can turn into a dragon, please? Or a pet dragon, either one will do. Although, I would like if you can make me turn into a dragon. Love, Carson. P.S. Happy, have a happy Valentine's Day. Dear Santa, I have an extra good this year, and I've been especially nice to my sister. So my list is a little bigger than usual. Here goes. Cash, $200. Dinosaur bone, it has to be real. Dog, Labrador, Labrador preferred. Second hamster, boy. Snake Canyon, shoots real snakes. Free day off of school, call me in sick. Rocket boots, a jetpack, and a new green pen to write the rest of my list. This is part one, I'll send part two later. Love, Nathan. Dear Santa, I think you are a fat man and I'm not leaving you any cookies because my mom said that Mrs. Claus probably put you on a diet like my mom did with our dad. <laughs> you need to stay away from the junk food and don't eat too much on your trip around the world. That's why I'm leaving you vegetables this year with skim milk. I hope you lose some weight because with all those toys and you, I start to feel sorry for Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner and Blitzen, and oh yeah, Rudolph. I sure hope you brought everything I asked for. Well, since I didn't see you this year in person. I hope to see you next year. Love you, bye, Presley. Check, check. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there were no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over the flock, their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Messiah, the Lord. 
this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes, lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the holy host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those who whom his favor rests. Christmas is crazy. Christmas is busy. Christmas is peaceful. Christmas is holy. Christmas, Christmas is, is Jesus. Jesus. and the amount of time and effort that she puts in um, at this after-school program. The kids just love her. Can everybody say thank you, Miss Edith? Thank you, Miss Edith. Thank you so much for coming. 